or Memorial Day of 2022, three friends brought their dual sport motorcycles to Harrison, Arkansas for a weekend of off-road riding in the Ozark National Forest. On day one, it was just Josh and I scouting around and finding places to ride while searching for the best off-pavement routes from our campsite to the National Forest. After several weeks of unseasonably hot weather, a cold front had moved through, leaving the area blessedly cooler and wetter. We did encounter some light rain, but nothing to spoil our ride. By day two, the storm system had moved out, leaving us with comfortable temperatures and clear skies. The rain had made the roads perfectly muddy, but it had also caused the rivers in the area to be running extremely high and fast. Thanks to the storm, we did encounter some obstacles along the way. Several trees had fallen across the roads and we had to find our ways around and through the woods. Also, many rivers were too high and too fast to try and ford our way across, causing us to turn around and find alternate paths. We had no real destination, so this was all just part of the adventure. Our friend Joey joined us for the fun on day two. Joey has ridden his Yamaha FJR 1300 on just about every paved road in Arkansas. He just purchased his first dual sport motorcycle, a Suzuki DR650, and was looking forward to seeing what the Ozarks had in store for him off the beaten path. Every motorcyclist knows the first rule of riding in northern Arkansas is the requirement of having lunch at the Oark General Store, a small place in the middle of nowhere surrounded by some of the best motorcycling roads in the area.
poor Joey did get his first baptism at the hands of a slippery, algae-covered water crossing. I had my own issues that I'll have to rectify later. On day three, we continued the fun and found more difficult and some impossible water crossings. We had to walk our bikes across one which was difficult even on foot, with the slippery algae and the swift current trying to pull your feet out from under you. Today we had a planned stop at the Hawksbill Crag for some hiking. It's a 2.9 mile out and back easy hike to get to some of the best views in the area. And an iconic Arkansas landmark. On day three at lunch, we ran into another fellow FJR rider, Mike. Mike happens to live in the area and graciously offered to be our guide and show us his favorite roads for day four. Overall, it was a fantastic long weekend of great riding with perfect weather and good friends. Sadly, my ride was cut short midway through the last day by a mechanical issue with my motorcycle. 
Until next time.